I grew up not really seeing my representation, my little being body. So I thought if I can't see it, why don't I be it? I know that there's a lot of people like me, but they're just not shown. So it's cool now that there's people like me flourishing in whatever career they have. My photography is celebrating being comfortable with yourself. I was so scared to be who I was for so long, and so to meet all these younger kids that are just unapologetically themselves, I find it so inspiring. I think art in general has been a way for people to communicate things that they feel like language maybe hasn't caught up to yet. For me, it's a way to process my queer identity and my trans identity. Music is fun because it doesn't have to make sense, and I feel like that's how a lot of my feelings are. But on a song, I can just yell over a beat and people know exactly how that feels. When I'm painting, I'm really responding to how I'm feeling in the moment. As a queer person, I experience a lot of bittersweet. It's a full spectrum of emotion. Art and vulnerability work hand in hand. Poetry allows for me to not only escape the world, but document it, and I think we're all just trying to connect with our spirits. I think now what makes me feel the most free is skating with other queer skaters. So I try to photograph those people and help put them out in the world. Queer people have always been resilient and I'm really excited to see what we do to raise each other up because it's especially important right now.